Hello and welcome to the British Dapper and today we're looking at a five day suit wear. So last week I went to the lovely city of Cardiff to do some training with some uh, some uh, members of staff and uh, on that occasion I went for from Monday through till Friday so I set myself a challenge to wear a suit for five days whilst at work. Not uncommon for most people that to work in an office and have to wear a suit. But because I was going away, I thought I'd look at how do you accommodate a suit and all the other items that go with it, ties, shirts, uh, socks, underwear, that sort of thing, when you're actually traveling to another location. Now ordinarily I would have taken two suits and rotate them either day and I'd have taken two pairs of shoes and alternated them as well but on this occasion I thought well what would somebody do if they haven't got a lot of suits and they don't have a lot of other things to, uh, to uh, change for example the shoes they might only have one pair of shoes. So I determined that I would take one standard navy suit that I'm wearing today and uh, five different coloured shirts or types of shirts and five different sorts of ties and along with that an assortment, small assortment of uh, pocket squares to go with that. Um, I also chose the same pair of shoes a dark brown brogue shoe. Uh, the event that I was going to was a semi-formal occasion uh, as in I was mentoring people uh, learning a new role and so it afforded me the opportunity to wear something a little bit more smarter than I would normally wear but at the same time not uh, so formal that I had to be rigid and uh, wear black shoes and uh, a more dulled version of ties. So this is my journey. It's a short um, number of uh, photographs taken whilst I was at the hotel and a, a short discussion about the five different looks created from wearing the same suit but different accoutrements to it. So on the Monday, um, as you can see, I'll just step to the side here. So on the Monday, I wore a the navy suit. I wore a powder blue shirt with a slight stripe in it. And I wore a burgundy suit, uh, sorry, a burgundy tie with a slight uh, coloured uh, polka dot on it. And obviously I picked the colours up in the pocket square to uh, match the um, the colour of the tie. So there's a little bit of burgundy in there and some creams uh, mixed in as well in the pocket square. And that was the Mondays look. Now when it came to the following day, I needed to change the look so from the burgundy we need to go to another extreme so I went for blues and on this occasion you can see I'm wearing a lighter blue tie with some darker blue stripes in it and some ivory colours and this was picked up in the pocket square as well and on this occasion on this occasion I was wearing a white shirt again the same dark brown brogue shoes uh, went well with this look. So that was Tuesday. Now we go into Wednesday and again we need to try and remember to change either the tie or the colour of the shirt along with the pocket square so that it mixes it up a bit. You're still wearing the same suit but people are not really conscious about the suit they're looking at the next colour coordination in the tie and the shirt and the pocket square. And that's what uh, 
you can get away with wearing the same suit all that time without people going, aren't you wearing the same suit you wore yesterday? So that is um, the way to avoid that, is to by changing the texture or the colour of the shirt, and the same with the tie, the focal point is the tie and the shirt, uh, rather than the suit itself. So when we go on to the next day, because we'd already had burgundy and we'd had light blue, uh, we changed that. So on the Wednesday, we changed that to this image. So we're wearing a pink shirt and a pink and navy striped tie. And also we picked up the difference in the uh, pocket square as well with some pinks and some creams in there as well. And it gives it a completely different look to the previous look, even though we're still wearing a striped tie. Again, we use the uh, dark brown brogues, semi-formal look, and uh, again, we're changing the colors in the tie or the texture of the shirt or the color in the shirt um, to give it a completely different look each day. So, the following day, we decided to do this. So on the Thursday, we changed the colours again, and although we're still wearing a striped shirt, uh, sorry, striped tie, we have actually picked up creams in the shirt, and we've got uh, some bright reds and creams with a slight black line going through it in the tie. And of course we picked up the redness and the creams uh, in the actual pocket square again. So a different look to the day before. And this is Thursday's look. Again we're using the same suit and we are using the brown brogues as footwear. So that brings us neatly on to the final day, Friday. Um, so on this occasion, we changed the look completely in the shirt and also in the tie. So on this occasion, we had a dark blue Bengal striped shirt with a burgundy stroke plum coloured tie. And the pocket square, we picked up some uh, some of the reds, some of the blues, and also uh, we had some uh, greens in that as well. The brown brogues again. And I think you'll agree that each day is different, subtly different. The suit has been remained the same throughout the whole week. But when you look at these things, each day, the focal point being the tie, the pocket square, or the shirt has distracted the eye from the suit, which is really the blank canvas in this case. It's not the ideal way to uh, to wear a suit four or five days, but if you had to, and you only had the one suit, then you could do that. You could change, you need five shirts anyway, a clean shirt each day, especially if you're working long hours. Uh, we were doing nine and ten hour days. Uh, so that's quite a long day. Alternatively though, if you had more suits, I would suggest um, generally, I always take, if I'm taking a navy suit, I would take something a little bit more contrasting to that. So it might be a light grey Prince of Wales check suit. Uh, I think that's a good compromise. And you know, the five shirts and five ties uh, you just pick them uh, in preparation. Again, it's all in the uh, travel as well. So I tend to hang them into um, a suit hanger. I don't fold them up in a suitcase. Uh, it keeps them in much better shape and uh, ready to go. The shirts, I wash them, but I don't iron them. And then when I get to the hotel, that's when I iron them because if you iron them and then put them in a bag, they still get creases and they're not so easy to iron out. If they're tra transported, unironed, um, 
when you actually do iron them, you dampen them down a bit by hanging them in the shower while you're in the shower area and uh, just let them get a little bit damp. Then when you iron them, they come up as if uh, you were doing them at home. Nice, crisp, clean iron shirts. The only thing I would say about hotel rooms and ironing boards and irons is that uh, they're not always in the best of condition. They have probably been a little bit abused. Sometimes the iron is burnt um, and has, so just be careful that, especially if you're uh, touching up the creases on your trousers, as an example. Uh, I always take an ironing cloth with me, which is just a small strip of uh, material, a light cotton material, just to add a barrier between the iron and the actual trousers themselves. Um, ironing boards as well, they can get a bit warped and uh, so uh, just be mindful of that as well and they can have stains on them as well. Most hotels though, if you phone them up and say, look, the iron's burnt, can you replace it? They will replace it very quickly. And along with the ironing board, if it's damaged in any way, they will replace that. And they'll do it quite swiftly as well. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Try the five day suit challenge for yourself. See how you get on. Um, wear it for work. Wear it for leisure. But try it. Try and match up different ties to the same suit, using different pocket squares, or just five individual looks, even if you change the suit. But I guarantee you, you'll have great fun doing it. And uh, don't be afraid to add a little bit of colour in the tie and the pocket square or in the shirt, just to give you a different look each day. So if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Uh, if you'd like to know more about the videos or our next videos when they're coming out, then hit the notification bell. We do like constructive comments, so if you'd like to make one, then please feel free to do so. Put it down below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. We always like ideas for our next video, so if you've got an idea that you'd like to put forward, then please feel free to do so. You never know, what you say might be featured in our next video. So until next time, take care.